You surely bought herself an engagement for Christmas, did you? <laughs> Turn that fucking thing off now, you. <laughs> right, tell me the crack here with two KS 150s, but one's a Puma and one's a Maxim. One's Puma, one's Maximum. Same length, same height, same width, same wheelbase, everything. Different gearbox, lighter tractor. Max the Maximum would have a different gearbox and should be a lighter tractor. Wouldn't be built as heavy like. Um, I've had the Puma 150 on a three and a half meter rotavator bed tiller like. Um, she drives it away perfect like. Fair, hard to drive it now, alright. Haven't had the maximum on that because I only got the maximum in May and with all the tillage work done for the veg, so we'll have to give it a go this year. Yeah, so yeah. Do you reckon she'll drive it though? She should drive it, but I'd say weight might be her problem, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She might be that bit too light, like. It is heavy, like. Yeah. Essentially, like, you have to have flashers on, oh, like. I do, I look busy. <laughs> Any difference between the two cases? Uh, there would be a nice bit of difference. The gearbox, the activation, transmission in this one would be way smoother and way more user friendly. Like when you're going up the gears, even when you're not in automatic, when you're going up the gears, she'll just more stepless than. Yeah, yeah. You put the other one in automatic, like you'll feel you're going up through the gears an awful lot and going down the gears, whereas this one you won't feel it as much. It's the next best thing to see if the X like. Oh, don't have to use the clutch if you don't want. She's active clutch when you but push. I'm in automatic now, so I don't have to use the clutch. No, just, just press the brakes. Push the brakes, up. and the active clutch will kick in. Just stay under your arm to the lever. The orange handle. This one? Yeah. Yeah. The further up you push that, the longer she'll hold on to the gear like. She's in Oh, yeah, so if you're loaded, you'd have that. You'd have that on and. Power, like she's in eco at the moment, like it sets how fast she'll drop the gear on uphill or how fast she'll uh, go up the gears. Is this my hand throttle in here? Yeah. So I'll put him all the way up, mate. Like. Yeah. Oh, I yes. see. Oh, all yeah. the way she'll cruise in 53 kilometers an hour. There is an upgrade kit you can get for the suspension album. Um, Super Glide suspension. Upgrades the front suspension, putting in a, an extra bottle into the suspension, and uh, they do a air cab suspension as well. She's only on springs and shocks and all. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Heard it's a good job. Don't have them, but find next them quite year, com- next year. Find them quite comfortable as it is. Price is the problem. How much is it? It's in around thousand euro for the cab. Just not for you, like. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Did anyone ever tell you there was no money on the contract? Yeah, but I never believed him. Yeah. Are two tractors the same? Like 150 boosted to whatever it is? It was 150 boost into 185. I'm sure. Same engine. Same cab. Same layout on everything. Yeah. Manual spoons. This one has a mid-mount for the front linkage. A joystick on your. That lad? Yeah. Um, change up and down the gears in the back of the joystick as well. If you were had around loader, there's three buttons at the back of the joystick. Oh, yeah, yeah. The buttons on the side of it are for your third or fourth function loader. The other one doesn't have that. She's just plumbed to the spool valve in front link pitch. This one is. A ton or a ton and a half lighter, same wheelbase, length and width, same height. The only Where difference. Where do they save all the weight? Don't know. It's in the gearbox someplace. Jesus Christ, a ton and a half. Like. Obviously, the she would be a lighter tractor. She wouldn't be built for as heavy work. Like she'd have lighter half shafts, and I don't know what else is lighter, but. Underneath the cab is the only difference between the two, as such, is the gearbox 
uh, Puma has semi power shift. See the way now we were up that little hill there and she was empty, but she went back about five kilometers an hour. Yeah. If I had that lad out to the last, would she have stayed up with higher speed? Do you reckon? No, she probably would have dropped. She probably would have dropped the gear. Yeah, yeah. Because she'd have... feel the pull more yeah, so. Yeah, yeah. We are an eco now, so she's not trying to change up and down gears as much. A bit slow to take off, sometimes if you use the active clutch coming into a roundabout or something like, and you don't actually stop. If she's in a higher gear, <coughs> she won't um, She won't be able to drop him down the gear to take off yeah, again. Yeah, the Mercedes enough. truck is the exact same. she will go to take off again and she'll be just sitting there like eight gear. Be like, what, what's going on? Where am I? She's lost like... Yeah, yeah. Um, Laurie, the more Laurie is the very same. She's lost, she's not have to drop the gear fast enough. So you have to give her a little bit of time. She realizes what gear she's meant to be in then with speed matching and all that. And she'll find her gear like if you come into a roundabout and there's nothing coming, and you'll just put the boot back down again. You'll actually think she's slipping. Yeah, yeah. She'll just rev out, but she won't go any faster. You know, it's the front suspension working away or grand there now with the bad road, like yeah. feel it as well. And then I suppose the weight block is like keeping the tension on it all the time nicely. Like. It is, yeah. A lot of people have done before the super glide suspension came out. They basically take the pipe going out to the front suspension, out to the ram, is just running from underneath the cab here out to the front axle to the ram. If you take off that pipe, replace it with a smaller pipe, put a T off of it into a, another bottle with 15 psi and a tap on it, you can. If you would, you want your suspension to be softer, then you just open the tap. Oh yeah, you're putting another accumulator like. Putting another accumulator into yeah. the line, and it makes a big difference. And if you had if you would weight lock back on then, as such, and you didn't need it to be a soft, you could just close the valve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eliminating that accumulator then again, like. And is the super light an extra from new, or is it something that someone else made up and you retrofit on? Someone else made it up. Oh, it's not case themselves. No, it's not case. Oh, look at a good zetter in the shed. Pride of the fleet. Number three spool valve there. Just the brown one. Give that pull towards you. Pull it. Yeah, now it's locked. Let's put that back up in the float now again and turn the dial down. Oh my God. The telescopic hitch was in float, so when you drop the trailer, it actually pulled out because the air brakes are holding the trailer back. I'm supposed to go back up left, different bit of scenery. For the look. For the creep, as you'd say. <laughs> Might see a few loose women on the way. The active clutch is a super job when you're bailing. Beeper goes off, push the brakes, she'll stop, bail's netted, they off her bail and then go in. Out goes the bail, give off the clutch, but the door is closing, she's she's slow, she's soft start, so she's slow taking off, she doesn't take off with a bang like. Yeah, yeah. So while the door is closing, she's actually starting to take off, the door's fully closed, she's up to speed then. And is there some setting then, say you're going along and you're bailing, and I don't know how many revs you're at driving the bailer? Say 1500. Uh, it'll be 40 PTO revolution minimum, like so. I think it's 1900 revs. 1900, yeah. Just so, 1900. Is there. You obviously press the brakes and she stays at 1900. Yeah. But is there some setting then that if you were doing another type of job, I can't think of it off the top of my head, but where you press the brakes and she don't kill the revs? And then when you go again, she rev up herself. Is that a thing? No, no, that's not in it at all. No. The, there's a set of buttons on your arm there. We'll um, we will set preset revs onto it, like. So if you're uh, sucking a lot of slurry, yeah, you want to rev her up to 350 RPM PTO. You just hit that button and she revs up to it straight away. Yeah, yeah. 
and you don't have to go and push the hand trottle out to set it to where you want to the, the same with the bail or you just push it and shield it up to 540 and you're away by the cut of back then you Yeah, so you can set her to keep a certain PTO speed and then she will um, rev herself up, she comes under pressure and loses her own speed or whatever. No, she if she starts to come under pressure she'll just start dying like yeah. she won't lose round speed and in, in order to keep the PTO going to same speed you will you will bring her to a stall like if you want to like yeah, yeah. depends how much pressure you put under. I hate the way she takes off mad when you go to that's because you're in C1 the cyber C1 set is a default gear like oh, the best yeah, gear yeah. she'll take off and so she's set in the top range by the sis lower gear she wouldn't take off as aggressively yeah as aggressive and vigorously you know. science bitch <laughs>